My name is Fatma Al Ali. Uh, I'm an ice hockey player in the UAE national team, and I'm an international referee in the IHF. I got into hockey by uh, when I was uh, young. I used to watch hockey movies. The first movie I watched was uh, The Mighty Ducks. It got me into loving hockey, but I didn't know that we had any ice hockey in the UAE uh, till I was 18. I became the UAE national team photographer. And then when I was 20, they started the UAE national team for the women's. And I joined them one year later, and from there I just fell in love with the game more, and uh, just, I can't stay away from the game. It's a unique game in our country because we live in a very hot climate and it's uh, like the best place to spend time in, in a cool place. The speed of the game, the actions, the scoring, like the contact, everything about the game that makes me love it. We had a tournament coming on in 2016. Uh, they told me ex-professional players are coming to UAE. They're gonna play with our team for the President Cup. I didn't know any of the players. So I was, as usual, around the rink, walking around and then uh, we had some free ice time. I didn't have my skates, I didn't have my stick, so I grabbed a stick from the men's locker room and just started playing with the puck and stick handle. I think Peter was shooting something for the Washington and he approached me to the bench and he asked me, uh, I was doing a trick, so he asked me, uh, can you do this again? I told him, yes, of course. And then he asked me, can I take a video? I told him, yeah, of course, sure. So he came on the ice, I didn't even have skates on. He took a video and then he asked me if I can post it on Twitter. I told him, sure, you can do that. And then uh, a few days after, he came to me, he's like, did you check the tweet that I posted? I told him, no, not really. And he said, it got so many likes and retweets from all around the world and even uh, uh, professional players and ex-professional players, they saw the video. And a few months later, he, uh, Video called me through Etihad and he told me that I'm going to DC to meet uh, the Washington Capitals. It was a surprise for me. I didn't expect that would happen. So I thought it was like, uh, I didn't think it was serious or it will actually happen. So when I went there, like my dream came true. I, the embassy was surprised to, ha to see me, to know that the whole story, they were so excited to meet me and uh, after that, I met the ambassador, and the ambassador decided to bring the whole team uh, the year after to, to Washington. Uh, dropping the puck uh, before the game was the, one of the scariest things I've done in my life, because uh, I was shaking before the game, I was too scared. 18,000 people watching, I don't know how many people watching through TV, and like professional players, famous people are going to drop the puck in front of me. So it was, it was, I, I cannot even describe the feeling. It was one of the best feelings I've ever had, but it was too scary. Thank you, Fatima, and enjoy your time in the United States. My experience in Washington was uh, very unique because uh, they didn't expect someone um, like a Muslim girl and, and from a desert country can play hockey and can do can have skills. So some of the players approached me and they said like I got good skills and they were impressed. Yeah, Alex Ovechkin, he's so nice. He, he approached me straight away. He, he's the one who took me from the bench on the ice. He, he played with me, we, we passed, we, we did some one-timers. And then he gave me his stick too. And going to Washington and meeting my favorite players was one of the best things happened in my life, and it changed my whole life into like to be a better. And I, like people now look up to me, and they know that dreams can come true.